Hi everyone, not even sure this is working, yeah it is. I'm recording this at home, uh, so I only have five minute limits on the video instead of a bit longer. So I'll be as quick as I can. So this is a re-record of the, well, actually lesson three isn't it, it's not lesson two. Lesson three. It says, I'm a bit worried now that I've got the wrong one, but never mind. Right, I'm done. So quadratic inequalities, they're really, really important. And what you do is you just solve it, graph it, and identify it, and identify the region. So we solve, graph. I'm doing this with a tablet, so my writing will be worse than ever. And identify there. So if I look at this one, in poly, if I put one, three, four, I get x is minus four and x is one. And then if I graph it, so I've got x is minus four and x is one. So there's my graph, there's one. It's going to be a little bit all over the show, this, isn't it? That's minus 4. And where it says greater than, that means I'm looking above the x-axis. There. So we change pen colour. So, so far, I've solved it. I've graphed it. Now I need to identify the area. So the area for above these numbers so i've got x is less than minus four or x is greater than one and to be really good about it i want to put x belongs to the reals so you know this isn't actually doing so bad with a tablet at home five o'clock in the morning so i realized last night that i won't be able to re-record this at all because um i have support at dinner I've got my daughter off in the morning at school and I have to rush, pick my son up straight from school tonight, Tuesdays, to go um, trampolining. Right, so this one, same idea, I just need to rearrange it a little bit. So I've got x squared minus 49, less than or equal to zero. So in poly, same idea, I put 1, 0 and minus 49. That would give out x is minus 7, oh come on, x is 7, graph it, so I've done the solve it bit, solve it, graph it, so minus 7 and 7, and now I just need to identify the region, so I'm looking below again, yeah. So below, oh no, so not, that was above, this one's below. So looking below this time. So if you look, where the graph is below the x-axis, there, it's contained. So this one's contained in one. 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 So it's looking at minus seven. Now this one's got an equals on it, so I'll put the equals on. And then for absolute fullness, x belongs to the reals, such that. What do I write my such that first? Oh, no, oh, get off that. Oh, oh, no, hang on. Get back on my pen. Exciting stuff, this, you know. 25 past 5 in the morning. I realised there were no time to do this. Uh, hang on, I need to try and get rid of that one. Right, so I think if I go on, uh, select, boing, get rid of that, so you can see that one, look, see? So that one's got values at 1 and 3. Oh, I'm on 442, so I've got to go now. There, there's the other one. Right then, bye-bye.